Hey guys, uh, so this is the third video uh, that I have made, uh, the second video uh, for Vim Editor. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, all you guys for your comments and suggestions for the blog. And uh, yeah, some of them I want to mention is that they want, some of you guys uh, mentioned that the tutorial is too long. Uh, so. I, so I think maybe for now I should uh, keep it within around mm -hmm. 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, and then uh, some people say that uh, they don't like the icons on the left when I was uh, uh, when I was teaching. When I was, uh, so yeah, I'll take that out. And um, yeah, and then some people even suggested suggested that I make uh, the tutorial in another language. Uh, this is an interesting idea. I think about that, yeah. And uh, and then uh, a couple of things like uh, some people didn't understand uh, some of the stuff I did. Uh, so I'll go over those comments again uh, just to explain uh, what it was about. Um, okay, so first of all, I want to talk about the uh, the Fuzi, uh, Uh That's the the website of my blog so if you guys can uh, subscribe to me uh, on Facebook or the, on Twitter or on the WordPress uh, that'll be great and also I have a, a YouTube channel uh, it's not under the same name but uh, I'm trying to move all the videos to FUSICAST but uh, I haven't done that yet so I'll do that uh, in the future uh, but for now, you can uh, subscribe to the UJ Designer 85's channel. Uh, I'll post all, all the uh, uh, URLs uh, in the blog. And uh, I think I've went over the uh, the basic stuff. So again, the yeah, the the, the domain name, the the website's name is called fuzicast.com. Okay, and so. We have a uh, very interesting tutorial for you guys today. Uh, hopefully, you guys will find it interesting because there's some pretty uh, cool stuff that I want to show you guys. Okay, so um, I already set my alarm to 30 minutes. So if uh, if I didn't get to the even more stuff that I promised, uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so uh, I. I went ahead and installed the uh, Ubuntu on the VM player, VMware player, uh, because I found that like uh, the virtual box. I don't know why it was uh, very slow, so I, I reinstalled it Ubuntu on the VMware players. Um, anyway, besides that, okay. So let's go over the last time somebody said they didn't understand what the Z plus Enter does. Okay, so here I have a file. Okay, so let's say um, I scroll all the way down. Okay. Okay, put on my the numbers. Okay, so last time I was trying to put colon set num, but instead I should have just put in uh, colon set nu, short for uh, set number. Uh, okay, and then so you see that I'm at the line uh, 50. Alright, so if I want to bring this cursor if I want to bring this cursor to the top basically bring this line to the top of the uh, the screen okay what I do is I press a Z press enter and then I bring my uh, line 50 to the top of the screen that's all it does it doesn't modify anything it just adjusts the, the screen uh, that's all so uh, so that's what it does um, if you still don't understand just just uh, let me know but it's not really it's not something that's very uh, it's just not used a lot, but some people might use it, so it depends. Uh, okay, some of the uh, just a little like a quick one here is like a, if you do a capital L, if you press capital L, which is a shift L, your cursor will go all the way to the bottom bottom of the screen. So you see, my cursor just went to line 82, uh, where it was previously at nine, line 50. So that's what capital L does. Um, Capital H, which is uh, Shift plus H, goes uh, moves the cursor to the top. So, it, so it, if I press a uh, capital H, 
it will bring the cursor to line 50 so that's what uh, these are, uh, are so it's pretty simple um, okay so last time I mentioned that like if you press uh, capital Z capital Z and zebra uh, you can if you press capital Z twice it will save and quit well this is a similar uh, command that you can do is the uh, colon X so that's also uh, so that's equivalent to colon WQ and uh, it's also equivalent to uh, two capital Z's so if I press a colon X it will save and quit okay okay so next one is uh, so let's say that you uh, you editing your file and then you need to look up on another file uh, but you don't know where it is yet. Yeah, you need to go back to the command line to uh, to look through it, right? So what you can do is you can press a cap uh, control Z. Uh, control Z is not really a Vim command. It's more of a uh, Unix command. Uh, control Z basically brings the process to the background. So if I press control Z, I will go back to the command line. Okay, so I press control Z. So you see that it says uh, the process has been stopped. Okay. So that means the process is in the background. Okay, so if I want to bring that back up, uh, you know, if I want to bring, so I maybe I'll do, you know, I'll do go to like desktop, you know, and then maybe oh, I'll go back. Okay, I found my what I want, and then I went back, you know, and then I need to bring back the the Vim, right? I need to bring back the Vim uh, process. So I can do FG. FG is for foreground. So it brings the process to the foreground. So if you type in FG and then enter. Uh, it brings back the Vim uh, to the foreground. Okay, so that's what it does. Uh, okay, so let's go to one more. The okay, so let's say uh, you want to capitalize. So let's look, look for friends here. Okay, so let's say you want to capitalize friends, right? You want to capital every all of it, right? So what you can do is uh, you can uh, you can enter the tilde, press on the tilde. Okay, so that's a shift and then tilde key. Okay, so if you do that, shift tilde key see it capitalizes the F so if I press uh, the tilde again R I E N D S okay so now you have to make sure that you're pressing on tilde you're not pressing on that little bat tick there so that's why you need to uh, hold down your shift key uh, to get to that uh, tilde uh, key okay so let's say I make the change right and then uh, and maybe I make some more change you know blah 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 or maybe I delete some lines here and stuff like that or you know whatever you you make you make your changes into that line right so when you do a capital U if you do capital U you will undo all the changes for, to that line okay so you press a uh, shift U oh you see even the capitalization is uh, is undone and so was the deletion the you know insert blah 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 it was all uh, undone Okay, so that's why it is. Okay, uh, another interesting uh, stuff you can do here is uh, you can type in uh, vi colon. Uh, I mean not vi colon. I'm sorry, vi double quote. So try putting vi double quote. Okay, you see what what I did there? If I when I pressing vi uh, double quote, it highlights whatever that's in between. That's in between uh, double quotes okay now this is not something that really important but just you know something I find uh, some kind of a little bit cool you know to do that but um, that's totally up to you if you want to remember that if you want to put that down and remember guys I, I will always put down the uh, the commands in in the blog so uh, you know if you need a reference you can look up there and I will also create a, a, a page a, a page for um, reference like I will put all the commands for them in there so you can look it up uh, in the future okay and uh, I really like you guys to practice it because like uh, these commands you know even though they're really cool but if you don't use it if you don't remember it if you don't use it often excuse me if you don't use it often you will uh, you know you will forget about it because that's how it is uh, when you don't use something you forgot about it okay so let's uh, okay. So let's do another interesting idea. So let's say I have like a print. Hello, hell print world print. Haha, print uh, pro. Okay. 
So let's say you know you have all these uh, print statements and you need to change it, right? You need to change it to let's say, I say there's another function called say, right? In Perl, this says you uh, another command, another uh, function called say. Okay, so you wanna you wanna change all these print, you wanna print, you wanna change all four of them to uh, another word called let's go say, right? S I S A Y. Okay, so what you could do is do you can do a control V, right? You can do control V. Okay. Now you can use your arrow keys to press to the left and um, to the right. Okay, now you selected the the uh, the print, and then you can uh, press on the down key to select the other ones. Okay. Okay, so you did that, and then now you press a S. S. Okay, and then you press uh, whatever you want to sp uh, replace, right? So I said put in S A Y, right? I put in S A Y. And then now we press escape key and then press enter. Voila! You uh, just replace uh, all the print, uh, print keywords to say. Uh, this is something, the little trick I found on the website, so I just want to share with you guys. Uh, maybe, maybe you guys will like it. Okay. So that's what it is. Um, okay. So uh, the difference between the uh, VI and Vim is uh, one of the one of the differences is that like uh, Vim can actually do highlighting. Uh, I'm not sure if VI can do that. I'm, I I tried that. I uh, I don't think it does. So uh, yeah, so VI doesn't do that. So to do uh, highlighting, right? Uh, basically, the key the key is the the V, the V key. Okay. So if you just press V, right? Press V. It goes into the visual mode. Okay, so so this is the mode that I was I missed the last time. So there are actually three modes in uh, Vim, right? There's a visual, there's a you know command mode, and then there's a insert mode. And uh, if you press a V, it goes into the visual mode. Okay. So if you so you, you can just pick on uh, you know press on your uh, arrow keys you know go to the right, you know go down maybe you know select multiple lines. You know whatever you want you know okay so when you highlight all these right uh, you could do a lot of stuff a uh, couple of them is that you can copy it you can you can delete it you can cut it uh, you could uh, you know search and replace just within that range uh, you know all kind of stuff okay so let's do a, the simple thing right uh, copying right so to copy you have to press a Y okay press Y Okay, so now notice that on the bottom left corner it says uh, seven lines yang. Okay, that means uh, uh, these seven lines uh, have, uh, are being copied to the to the buffer, to the Vim buffer. Uh, so that you know, so it's basically a copy and paste, uh, copy and paste on the Windows uh, environment. So when you press Y, it puts uh, all the whatever you uh, you know you select selected uh, into the uh, into the uh, Vim buffer. Now, if you want to paste it, right, you go anywhere you want, okay, and then you press P, okay, and then paste it, okay. Uh, now notice that it pasted, uh, it pushes the, um, uh, the whatever the highlighted character to the to the right, okay. So it's starting from the highlighted character. So if I press the P again, you see that A Y is actually pushed all the way to the back. Oh, okay, no, my it's the other way then. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the other way. Uh, so it actually uh, goes uh, after A and then uh, it starts to paste. So uh, my mistake, my bad. Okay. Uh, now, you know, you could do that, you know, if you want, you could do, you know, like a visual highlighting, but maybe you just want to copy one line, right? There's no need to do visual. So what you could do is like uh, you go to the, the line that you want to select. Uh, let's put our numbers just, you know. Just know that we're at one line. Okay, so you you know you uh, go to that line. You want to copy that line. You know you want to yank it. Uh, so you press a uh, Y twice. So you press Y twice. So I'm gonna press Y twice. One, two, right. And now if I want to paste it, I can go to anywhere I want and then do a P. And uh, there you go. I just uh, paste it. I just paste it. Whatever I uh, you know. Uh, I, uh, I just uh, copied. Okay. Uh, so let's say uh, you know. So let's do some shifting there here. 
So let's say I want to shift all these uh, four, all these four uh, say uh, statements, right? And I want to shift it to the right, uh, you know. So what I could do is like, you know, I can do. Oh, before that, I want to show you the shift V, the capital V, right? So small V just means that you know you select, you highlight one character, right? But the capital V actually highlights the whole uh, line, and then you can move your arrows up and down to select multiple lines uh, if you want. Right, so let's do that. Let's do Shift V, right, and then uh, it highlights the whole line. Okay, and then if I want to uh, uh, highlight multiple lines, you just press the arrow key up and down. So if I press down, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then uh, if I want to shift it to the right, okay, I want to shift to the right. So I I press down the Shift key, right, and then I press the uh, the right. Uh, what do you call that? The uh, right angle. Uh, it's the it's the second key, right uh, right to the M key. Uh, what do you call that? Um, yeah, this, what, what do you call that? I don't know. Uh, okay, let me just type it out. It's this key. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not being very professional here, but uh, it's this key. So if you press the Shift plus this key, it will shift the lines to the right. Uh, but if you want to press uh, shift plus, if you press uh, shift plus this key, uh, it will move the, it will shift the line to the left. Okay. Uh, so okay, let's do that. Let's uh, okay, uh, shift V to highlight one line. Press the down key to select multiple lines. Okay. Now I want to do the right, uh, right arrow, the right arrow uh, key. Okay, once and then you see that it shifted the lines to the left, uh, to the right. Okay, so if I want to do do it again, oh, oops, what did I do there? Okay, okay, I should not do that. Huh. I try to press the uh, Shift V and then uh, Shift Down Arrow key for some reason. Okay, so now you want to uh, shift this to the left. So it's the same thing, you know, Shift plus the uh, left arrow key and then you know you just uh, you just shift it back to the left okay so what happens if you want to shift just one line one line you just want to like to say you want to shift this say say hell you want to shift it to the right right uh, you could do is uh, press shift plus the right angle uh, right arrow key twice okay so hold down the shift press the right uh, arrow key twice so shift right arrow key twice and then shift the one line. Okay, same thing uh, for the shift left. Okay, it's just uh, shift and uh, hold down the shift key and then press the uh, left arrow key twice. So that's that. Okay. Uh, you know the the you know when you highlight it, you can also delete it. You know if I if I highlight these four lines and then press uh, D, you know it will delete those lines, basically. Okay. So that's that. Uh, okay, I'm going maybe, uh, I'm going to my do uh, do my list. So, uh, ho hope you guys uh, don't mind. I'm being so very random here. Um, okay, so the other one, uh, next one is the. So let's say you you edited this file, right? Uh, but you don't want to save it to the current file. You want to save it to another file, right? You know, you can do like um, there's multiple ways to do it, right? But this it this this way is uh, you can do uh, colon s a v, right? And then the new file name. Okay, now we do a colon sav and then new file name. It will save uh, to the other file. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so that's that. Now the, I think the I believe the difference between the uh, colon w new file two is basically the same thing. Yeah, basically the same thing. So so this is another way to do it. Colon w and then the file name. Okay, so that's that. Uh, the next one is uh, okay. So remember, I said that if we press A, it will go to the append. You append and then uh, go to the insert mode. Uh, that's one character, right? Well, if you want to like uh, append to the end of the line, right, and then go to insert mode. Well, what you can do is do a shift A, which is the cap capital A. So shift A, and then go into the insert mode. But you go all the way to the end of the, uh, the line. So you can stop typing, you know, whatever, you know. And that's that, okay? 
Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's that. So let's go to the bottom of the file, right? Let's make some empty spaces. Uh, just to demonstrate. Uh, okay. So let's say you have this file, and then you want to uh, put the other files into there, right? You want to uh, you want to uh, append the other file to this file, uh, but you don't want to leave. You don't, you don't want to get out of Vim. Well, it doesn't multiple ways to do it, right? But you, let's say you don't want to leave. You, you don't want to get out of. You don't want to quit the Vim, right? You want to stay in there, and then you want to append the other file to this file. Uh, what you could do is do the colon, R, R is for reading, and then the other file. File. Let's say file two, right? I believe it's file two. So when you do colon R, and then the file name, it will read from that name and then put it into this file. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, mm, what happened? It. Okay. File. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see. Now we align this. Uh, I believe I just did like so many of them. Did I? Okay. Uh, anyway, I, uh, this is downloaded from Google. It seems like they, they put all the their CSS and and JavaScript into one line, so you know to can condense the space. Okay, so that's that. All right. So calling R in the file name, it will read in another file. Uh, basically. Okay, so let's say uh, those so so another scenario is like uh, you editing you know you editing here uh, yeah the editing editing here and there right and then you were looking for some other um, keyword right and let's say uh, you were looking for uh, uh, Google right I said Google okay so you find your Google and then you know what is going on and then you want to go back. To the previous edit place right you want to go back to where it was before right because usually you know sometimes this does happen you know you were editing somewhere and then you need some reference maybe the you know, class and you've got the class name or something like that so you need to go back right so what you could do is you can do a single quote a single quote and then a period okay so I'm gonna press single quote and then a period so single quote and then a period okay so you see that I went back to where I was previous where I previously was okay so this is how you get back to the last editing uh, line where you were last editing so you can go anywhere you want but then you know if you want to need to go back to where you were, where you were doing that you know the last place uh, you can do a single quote and then a period okay so let's get out okay and then uh, let's look at the, what we have right now okay Okay, so let's say you have one file, right? You you know you don't want to accidentally, uh, you know, change that file and then save it. Maybe it's very important. Maybe it's a production, it's a production file. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to make mess with it, right? So you do what you do is you do a view, view, and then the file name. Okay, so view when you do a view and then the file name, it would uh, it would go into the read only mode it will open this file in read only mode okay so if I press that okay so now it says when you look at the bottom uh, left corner right you see that it says read only okay so if I now if I try to edit something you know it says warning changing a read only file right so I did that and then I try to do a couple two capital Z's okay it says oh, read only you know I cannot do that okay so you have to like uh, put an exclamation mark to uh, you know to override this warning. So if I do that, I can I could save and quit. Okay, but otherwise, if you normally just do a like, two capital Z's, uh, you you know it will not it will complain. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and then uh, let me see. <clears throat> All right, so let's open this file again. Uh, okay. So now you want to, let's say, uh, you know, you're in this here, and then you need to run a command, a, a uni Unix command, not a Vim command, a Unix command. You want to run a Unix command, and you want to see, like, let's say you want to see what, what, what the files are there, right? You want to see what, what other files are, are in the current directory, you know. What you can do is do a colon, exclamation mark, and do a ls minus ldr, or something, any kind of a Unix command, you know. The exclamation mark means it's uh you know it's a command. You will do you can do a command. Okay, so if you press that, okay, now it says see it will list it will list all the files here. 
you know, because I just did ls minus, minus ltr so it would it will run the command and then it says uh, press enter you know uh, to, you know to return to the uh, the vim so you just press enter and then it will return back to the vim so this you know you can run any kind of commands uh, in there you don't have to uh, you know so you can run the uh, commands uh, along with the vim okay or you know another way is like you know maybe you want to uh, pull it and you want to imp uh, copy the output of the command into the file right so so what you can do is to, you can do a, a colon r which is to for reading in right remember colon r is for reading in and then exclamation mark okay exclamation mark means it's, it's going to be a command okay so you can do a, a ls minus ltr okay so you can read in the output of the command okay so when you press enter Uh, warning changing it won't okay okay so now you just uh you see uh you just put in the uh uh the, the output of the command okay so if i press the uh, capital c oh i guess i did the view again uh, so i do the yeah override that over override the read only mode and then i should be fine okay so let's do file one dot txt okay Alright, anyway. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Um, okay, the next one is, uh, okay, as for, uh, I, I, sometimes I use it, but I don't use it very frequently. Uh, this one is like to go to the next word, okay? So let's say you want to jump to the next word, right? You don't want to like uh, press the left, right key every time. You want to go to the next word, right? So let's say uh, go to here. Trying to find a good appropriate. Let's go to word, right? Okay. So you want to go to the next word, right? So you can do press a W, W. Okay. See, it jumps. It jumps to the next word. Okay. If you do a B, right? B as in boy, lowercase B, right? Uh, it will go back one word. Okay. It'll go back one word. Okay. And which is not, not really significant, uh, you know, but uh, it's up to you. Uh, you know, and stuff. Okay. So uh, we said about like uh, uh, the the colon w right. Colon w is also right to a file right. So let's say you I want to select. I want maybe I want to just write a selection of the uh, of the file to it to another file right. So maybe I want to select these lines. Right. I want to select these lines and then I say I want to write these lines to another file just these lines I don't want anything else right so you highlight these you highlight these lines and then do a colon colon okay do a colon okay now you see that you see the you know the right angle the left uh, the left arrow the right arrow key right that, that's a range okay that's a range I give you the range of what you want to write okay now you press W for writing as you, you want to write to it there's many there's a, a lot of many com commands you can do uh, for these uh, selections but in this one we're just doing the right Okay, so and then you do the and then you put in the file name, you know, the uh, selection. Txt, right? So you do session that here and then press enter. Okay, so all these uh, lines have been written. Okay, okay. So and I think the 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 colon w is the difference is the um, is that when you do a colon w and then the file name. Txt, okay, it doesn't go to that. Uh, the file right so if I do this right if I do colon W in the file name okay it says the new file for file name that text has been written right but if I do a control G okay control G brings you what the, the current the current uh, file name so if you do control G okay it still gave you file one that txt so the different let me see if I the file name to that txt if I do a save file name that to a txt and if I do control G you see Okay, so colon uh, sav uh, actually like you know save this save this file to as another file, and then actually moves to the other file, opens the other file. Okay, so actually opens the file name too, as compared to uh, colon w. Colon w just uh, you know writes the current file, makes a copy of the the current file into another file, but it doesn't open the other file. It just uh, it just stays in in the same uh, old file. It doesn't open the new file. Okay, so that's what the difference is. Okay. Alright. Um, 
Okay, so the other following one is like uh okay, so let's say you want to go to the next word, right? Next. This is not good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's say you want to delete a word, right? You want to delete a word. You don't, you know, you just want to delete a word. You don't want to delete by X, pressing X key. You want to just delete a word. So you can do a a DW, a D as in David, W as in world. Okay, so DW, DW, and then delete the word. DW, okay. Uh, punctuation is considered a word. I don't know why, but uh, they 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 could yeah they couldn't figure out yeah how 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 I recognize punctuation as a word. But anyway, you can do a D as in David, W as in world, and then to delete one word, one word, one word. Okay, you see? Oh, okay, so that's uh that's why it is. There's also like a, a CW, right? A CW. So you know this is a DW, right? When you type in DW, it doesn't go into insert mode. Okay, it just deletes. It does. It stays in the command mode. And then there's another command called CW. C as in cat. CW. CW. What does it? It deletes a word and then it enters into the insert mode. Okay, so if I do CW. Okay, now you see that uh, on the left bottom left corner, I have the insert. So that means I'm in the insert mode. Okay, so that's what it is. So that's what it is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> So let's make a copy of this file, right? Uh, what, what was this original file name? I need to find out. Control G to find out. Okay. So original file is a file name two, right? So if I do a SAV file name three dot txt, right? But uh, I make some changes here. So hello world. Okay. And I save it. Okay. So now got out. I got the file 2 and file 3 should be there, right? So now if I want to find the difference, okay? To find the difference between two files, uh, visually, okay? Uh, this, uh, you know, you do a vim diff, okay? Vim diff and then file name uh, 2 and then file name 3, okay? So vim diff is the parameters is like the first file name and the second file name, okay? So vim diff, first file name and second file name and then press enter. Okay, so now you see that it actually shows you the differences uh, between two files. Now the differences is highlighted by this here. If you can see the the purple line is the light purple line, uh, highlight line, and then the differences is actually starts at the uh, the red highlighted uh, part. Okay, so, so it shows you where the where the differences actually starts. Okay, so that's why it is. Okay. Uh, Vendem has a couple other stuff uh, you, you can uh, you can do. Uh, I will go over that uh, uh, another time. Uh, but just something. Oops. Okay. Uh, guys, I'm out of time right now. Uh, but I'll show you the last uh, couple. Uh, just three more commands, and then we're done. Okay. Okay. So so you're on the, on the on the left side of the screen, right? On the left side of the screen. But if you want to do so, when you do this, right? You're in the you're using Vim. You can actually like. Go into the command uh, insert mode, typing I, start typing other stuff in there, you know, and stuff like that. But what happens if you want to go to the other side, the, the right side of the screen? Okay, what you can do is do, you can press the control W, okay, press control W twice, okay, so control W, W, okay. Now you see my cursor went to the right side, okay, so that's why it is. You press control W twice, it goes to the next screen. Go to the next screen. So if I press, if I want to go to the, 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 um, the left side, right. I can do I can do control W again twice. So control W one two, it goes to the, the left side. Okay. Uh, alternatively, you can do that. You can do the uh, control W and then the left key or the right key. Okay. That actually you can specify which direction you want to go as compared to uh, control W. You just go literally you go to the next screen. Okay. And uh, that means uh, we could have multiple screens. We could have like four, five, six. You know, I see some people have eight split screens. Okay. So it's pretty normal. So let's do a control W and then the right key and then you see uh, I, I my cursor just went to the right and then control W left key I just went to the um, uh, the left side okay so that's why it is and then you just do a quit or uh, uh, quit and then exclamation mark to uh, all right any changes okay and then quit W okay there's uh, other commands I have to show you but uh, uh, for now uh, you know. 
that's that's what it is okay all right so the, the so let's go back to you know the, go back to file name to that txt right okay okay so you open this file right so so let's forget about windiff right uh, windiff okay maybe we just want to open two files at the same time right uh, it should be you know uh, it should be doable right so you do a colon sp okay well colon sp is that it does the uh, 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 the horizontal split okay so we do colon sp and then type in the other file name type in the other file name and then enter okay and then you just open another you just open the another file there okay so it's colon sp and then a file name okay so you can do more you can do a file tab you just, just press tab and it will give you all the file name that you want you know give you the selection that you want so you can do colon uh, this file you know yeah there you go so you got the uh, three uh, three files open you got three files open yeah okay so that's why it is okay so let's quit all of them okay so let's try again uh, and then this time we're doing the vertical split okay vertical split so colon VSP okay colon VSP and the file name okay and then see you see that it does the vertical split uh, and then if you do this I believe it should uh, give you another split right unless I'm wrong uh, yeah there you go okay so it does another one so it has like you see like three columns here okay so that's that uh, just give you and then I'll give you a sneak peek of what the next video is about uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what uh, what I did here but uh, I think this is a command that I've been very excited I just found out like yesterday uh, and now I want to share with you guys but not until next video so so you open this file right you open this file okay so so Vim actually starts supports a, uh, a, a supports tabs it supports tabs in the in the editor right so what you can do is that if you want to open a new tab obviously the new tab can be either a new file or it can be the uh, existing file right so if you do a colon tab new okay and then enter okay see it opens a new file there okay you can uh, you can start typing in okay I just tell you the commands anyway I okay I'll extend this to should I, I don't know, okay I, I just do this okay just type in hello world I just gave you the commands anyway oh, okay uh, so hello you type in your stuff right and then you just escape and then you just you know uh, w you know press uh, w and then the file name u.txt you know it's right to it and uh, this is it yeah so you write to it right so what happens if you want to open a new new tab uh, not a new tab I mean an existing file right you want to open a new tab for existing file you do a tab new and then file name 3.txt okay so tab new and then space of uh, the file always remember the colons okay and then uh, press enter and then you got the three files you got three tabs open there you go all right so what happens if you want to go to uh, go to the each uh, each tab you know Okay, so you just press a G, G as in girl, T, and then uh, T as in Tom. Okay, so you press G and T. Okay, G and then T. Okay, so I'm gonna press G T. Okay, see, I just moved to the file two. Uh, G T again. I went to the second file. G T again. I went to the third tab. Okay. Oh uh, man, I really, I was hoping to give you guys this time, so you guys have in the incentive to come back. Uh, I guess you guys not gonna come back next time to watch the next video. Oh man, but yeah, uh, I have still have some interesting stuff going on. So, you know, <laughs> don't go away yet. Um, okay, so that's uh, you go do that each uh, each one uh, each tab. Okay, so and then this this uh, really I, I I don't really have a strong preference over this uh, uh, the, the next command. Uh, but uh, maybe my, my, maybe you you like it. Okay, so if maybe you want to move the file three, you want to move file name three text text to the first tab okay so so you go to the one the the, the, the tab you you currently using you want to move so the, in this case I want to move a file name 3 txt to file name to the first tab first position tab uh, what I can do is I can do control one control one and uh, no okay uh, okay then probably I've, I forgot about that command and it's not that one Jeez, yeah, I don't, oh I'm sorry yeah it's actually colon tab m1 to move what do I have a period there tab m1 okay so I put in the colon tab 
M1, I move the current highlight, current uh, you know uh, tab to the position one. Press enter. Uh, okay. I, I really need to be prepared for the tutorial. I'm sorry, guys. So actually, the t the tabs actually starts uh, with a zero. So zero, one, two. It's not one, two, three. Okay, so that's just that. Okay, and then uh, this is the end. I don't want to go any further until next time. Okay, so I'll see you next time. I'm really uh, excited that uh, I'm getting pretty good uh, views here. And yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Alright, see you next time. Oh, and make sure to visit uh, my website, www.fuzzycats.com. Uh, remember that. And also subscribe to uh, fa my Facebook page and my YouTube uh, channel and my Twitter, FuzzyCast. All right, all right, see you next time. Okay, just move closest. Stop this. <laughs>